So, okay, now we're going to start question seven. So I'm going to save this and let's make a, make a new file for the question. So question seven. So it looks like, uh, let's see if we have to update any of our variables. So it looks like we do quite a number of the variables change. So we'll just right click equations here and manage equations. And I'm going to move this over. It looks like this becomes 45. This becomes 20. This becomes 30. This is still a times four, but now we have a new variable, which is e. This is going to be equal to c minus 10. And then press OK. So all those variables are getting saved. And again, I can make sure that all these variables are correct. And because when you're taking the exam, you're going to be nervous. You want to make sure it's right. So 45, 20, 30. And a times 4, 45, you can even pull out a calculator to double check. And obviously 30 minus 10 is 20. So it looks like our equations got saved correctly. Um, again, I'm going to save these uh, parts. So this is through for these like features. So this way I don't get confused when I come back or I have to change anything. So through circle. Um, all right. So nothing we can, obviously can't really change uh revolve and it looks like the fillets did change so i guess i will edit my sketch here so it looks like the radius of those fillets are now two so i can go here control four to look at this in the right view and this these fillets now instead of five millimeters are now two millimeters so double click your dimension two enter so that changes 25, this is still B, D, and then A, and then A, so that's all still the same. So the only thing that changed, and this is still 15 degrees, and it's still offset by 7 millimeters. So the only thing that changed was that fillet. So press OK, and now I can save my sketch. And if for some reason it doesn't automatically update your build, you might just have to click Rebuild here instead. So control seven, let's see, did anything about the original part change? So now instead of five holes, there's three holes. So I'm gonna edit this feature and let's change this to five instances. Let's change it to four, press okay. Now it looks like all original parts that were changed were changed. And so now we just need to add this cut here so again it's probably gonna be easiest to add one cut and then do a circular pattern similar to how we did before so let's zoom into our part so we can see it now we see so uh looking at this for me it looks most intuitive to actually use already existing geometries and sketch this on the front plane and then just do a through all on both sides when i cut this this has a 20 degree um arc rate angle so when i sketch these lines what i'm going to do is i'm going to go from the center point all the way to the end because you can't just choose these inner circles because those would actually have different arc lengths so you want to make sure you choose all the way to the end at least that's my thought process in the beginning so i go to front view and i want to sketch and i'm going to sketch on the front plane so to see the planes available you just click this drop down arrow here and i want to sketch on the front plane so let's first draw two construction lines, one that goes from the center all the way to the outer edge, and then another one that goes to, from the center to a random edge. Okay. And the angle between here and here is supposed to be 20 degrees. So let's mention those to be 20 degrees apart. And then it looks like I have a circle here with a radius of 2.5 and there's 15 of them. And then a radius here of five. So let's draw a circle here. And a circle looks like it's on this line as well. 
here. Oops, I just accidentally added a relation. So I'm going to redraw that. I don't know if you saw, but there was a vertical relation with the right point and end point, right? So I, I had a vertical relation there. I didn't want that. So I got rid of it. Okay. And let's define the radius. So the radius is 2.5. So again, when you're taking exams, sometimes you're stressed out and you really need SOLIDWORKS to do the math for you. Obviously it's five, but you can do 2.5 times two in case they give you something weird that throws you off. And the diameter here, the radius is five. So again, just five times two or 10. But again, sometimes when you're taking the exam, you just get really stressed out and you you even need to use a calculator to make sure that two plus two is four. So five times two is 10. And then let's specify the vertical distance between them. So the vertical distance between those two center points is, is E. So here and here should be equal to E. And then the topmost circle is 85 millimeters with the center. So here to here should be 85. So now that sketch is fully defined. And now let's draw some connecting lines. And all I do to Keyboard shortcut, I just press L to go to line, so coincident. I go here, tangent, and then same thing here. Oops, I want to make sure I'm not choosing any automatic relations. There we go. So let's control Z there and press L to get to a line, then we go from here, coinciding with this circle, all the way to this circle. Let's zoom in on it. Now our sketch is fully defined, and now let's trim lines that we don't need. So we don't need this, don't need that, we don't need this, and it looks like that's it there. Now I can just do a features and go to extruded cut. And let's go through all both, right? Because that means it's going to do it through all both sides. And it looks like I just select the contour there. But unable to make feature as specified. So let's see what do we accidentally have a line that we're not seeing so let's go here let's make sure there's no extra lines there's no extra lines here um oh oh no there is an extra line right there that was hidden i couldn't see it so sketch trim and i don't need this line all right now when we try to do a through all cut it should be okay Extrude cut. And let's do it through all both. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a circular pattern. Um, so features, linear pattern, and then I choose circular pattern. So the direction I want to follow Again, just this edge, so I'm going to zoom in on it since selecting just the edge seems to be a problem. There we go. And then we just need 15 of these. Right. And there we go. So let's see, does that look like our isometric view? Yep, so here we kind of have some weird, I don't know, to me it reminds me of a dragon, but 
that's what it looks like. We have our changes, two millimeters, and we already changed everything original, and then we added the 15 cuts. And so then the final mass then be in our mass properties. So what is the mass? And you get 3198.58. So at least that's how I did question seven. Thanks for watching.